God's timing is not yours. If you're thinking why God is so late in coming through, think again. God is never late. His timing is perfect. It's just that he knows more than you. Maybe you are waiting on something you've prayed for. A promotion, healing, restoration, protection, provision to your vision. Whatever it is, it is coming. Be encouraged as you wait. Yes, there will be plenty of switchbacks and hard work. Don't worry about the trail ahead. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Trust in his timing. It is better than what we've defined as good timing. When you've got a God you can trust, who's aware of you and your needs, you don't have to worry about the path that you're on. Amen. I love I love reading these things. That's why I've started sharing them with you. It helps me to uh, to be positive because you know the devil comes against everybody. You know you hear you're not good enough. That wasn't good enough. You're never going to amount to anything. I mean, come on. We all hear it. We all hear it. That's one reason why I started reading this stuff on YouTube, hoping that it reaches somebody uh, and encourages them. God will change you, Proverbs 19. Many plans are in, in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that he will stand. So see, we all have purpose. We just have to figure out what it is. But we all have gifts and talents of some sort to work for the kingdom of the Lord. I do believe that with all my heart. We just have to uh, overcome our fears, shyness, uh, being inverted, uh, anxiety, whatever might hold us back from uh, speaking life and uh, trying to encourage somebody else. Even through, even though you may still be operating in old habits, you still have hope and change, but you can't change yourself. God will change you if you seek him with your whole heart. And he didn't say it would be easy. So when you go in, you have to go in fighting with all you have because the devil's going to come against you because the devil doesn't want you being on God's team. And the devil is sneaky. Don't forget that. He's sneaky. He's the sly fox. He's going to slip in. So be careful. Be careful what you're listening to. Be careful where you're going. Be careful who your friends are, what you're exposing yourself to. Because he's going to slip in there and make you think it's the right thing. And it's not. It's not the right thing. Don't hurry. For God finishes work in your life. He wants everything. We want everything to be done instantly. But God is not interested in your schedule. The enemy is going to mess up your plans. But God's plans... is what we're going to strive to do. And he has unique plans for you. That's you. 
the person that's watching this. You're not watching this by accident. I do not believe that you're watching it by accident. <clears throat> Seek God's plan in your life. Stay on fire, red hot, zealous. Pursue his purpose for you with every ounce of your energy. There is nothing in the world that is worth seeking more. So you know when you go to those concerts and you're standing on the front row taking those pictures, boy, you're giving it all you got. You need to give it all you got for the Lord. You need to give it all you got for the Lord and be seen. See, when you're doing all that, people are watching you, videoing, you're on social media everywhere. Food for thought. Y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Don't forget to say your prayers. See you in the next video.